descendants of the brave Catipuneros and the strong-willed leaders of the revolution. I wear the red banner and carry the torch of my guerrilla forefathers. The blood of my ancestors runs through my veins. I was not delivered into this world in defeat. The resilience of the past centuries nourishes my will, but I'm still fighting for my freedom, justice, and peace. To our distinguished members of the Board of Judges, to my fellow contenders, friends, visitors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I stand before you to speak for democracy that our heroes died for, the unfortunate and unjust strive for, and the present, and even the future generations and the world. Honor and dignity flow in my blood, and my heart beats for freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, the Filipino heroism is our legacy. It is found in the determination that made it possible for our Banganhon brothers to fight for freedom. It is in the courage that sustained them to seek justice for the brutal Banga massacre many years ago. Let the blood of the courageous Katipunero run through the veins of our children. Let their cries be echoed to our youth. Let us revel in the victory and peace that our forefathers gave their life for. But where, where is our freedom? Through the agony of the three hundreds of years under the Spanish colonization, several years under the Japanese and American occupation. I should think we are liberated from foreign forces, but a fellow Filipino dictator once again threatened our peace. When victory became ours, the seed of democracy in our country began to take root and sprouted to grow. I should rejoice and shout. However, ladies and gentlemen, I can see pictures of our motherland in reality at the present, and she is chained. Her shackles are those of poverty and inequality. Her chains are those of injustices, human rights violations, corruption, and treason. Her eyes are blinded by media and social networking. But her heart breaks as she sees her sons point their guns at each other. She sees her daughter slaving their way in foreign lands to earn money to buy food for their families. Is this what freedom has cost her? I am the youth of today. I am free to do what I want without prejudice. I am free to say what I want without fear of incrimination. I have grown fond of TV shows, love teams, and teleseria, and fight over them in social media. If only my fellow youth can defend our land from domestic terrorist groups, like how we defend Aldog or Pastilla's girl. If only we can protect our West Philippine Sea from foreign invaders, like how we protect our love teams from humors, then I can say that our forefathers' heroism is not in vain. Fellow Banganhons, I am the Filipino youth of today. I enjoy social networking like Facebook and Instagram. I like taking selfies and posting it online. But what I do online does 
not defy me. It is my thoughts, thoughts that will always contain memories of the meaningful virtues our ancestors passed down to us. It is my words in the stories I will tell my future children and grandchildren of how El El came to me. It is in my actions that embody the true nature of Sagibin, helping one another. As Dr. Jose Rizal once quoted, he who doesn't know how to look back where he came from will never reach his destiny. The only way to reach our dreams for the future is to have a clear understanding of the past. What has already happened can never be changed, but they can be a lesson we can learn from. I am the youth of today. I am a descendant of the brave Catipuneros and the strong-willed leaders of the revolution. I wear the red banner and carry the torch of my guerrilla forefathers. The blood of my ancestors runs through my veins. I was not delivered into this world in defeat. The resilience of the past centuries nourishes my will. But I'm still fighting for my freedom, justice, and peace. Ladies and gentlemen, where?